Good evening, YouTube. Okay, you guys. Winding down the evening. Thought I'd hop on because I haven't done a mask in a hot minute. So, I bought this here a few weeks ago. And I thought I'd give it a whirl. And it's this right here. It's got three different masks in it. So, I think I'm going to do... It's going to be the Deep Cleansing Clay Mask with Bamboo Charcoal. And it's this guy right down there. So let's open it up. Never opened it. No, saving it. Because I've been doing other doodads. Ooh, they're really pretty, you guys. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? Okay. Does it give... Instructions, smoothing, directions for use. Apply evenly to cleanse face. Avoid mouth and eye area. Allow to take effect for about five to 10 minutes. Then gently rub in remnants of the mask. Remove with a cotton pad or wash off. So we will definitely wash it off. Is what we will do. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these guys out of there. I'm gonna have to get me a shelf just for masks, y'all. And, but you know what? Okay, I'm gonna have to try to remember this. If not, I'm gonna have to cut it. Let me get me a mask applicator, which is right here. Okay. And then while I'm chit chatting, because I only leave it on five to 10 minutes, um, we went to TJ Maxx today. Shh. Yes. I got some more makeup. Yeah. Okay. But that's beside the point, right? No. I, I don't know. Okay. So, this is the... Let me make sure I get it right. Deep Cleansing Clay Mask with Bamboo Charcoal. So, we're going to see how this is. And... Oh. I like the smell of it, you guys. And it's by Lacura. Lacura Face Care. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I could be tearing the name up. Who knows? Okay. The directions on it weren't really super clear as far as, you know, exactly what to do I mean they were and they weren't if that makes any sense but the smells really good I do like the smell of it if this is what a spa smells like you guys oh my goodness gracious they must have this stuff by the gallons because it really does smell good okay oh my gosh I am just like in love with these applicators mask applicating okay, utensils or tools I guess I should say um, because it really keeps my hands from getting really nasty okay we're gonna try and make that look a little bit prettier this side here turned out really well not in there and there it's not it's kind of um messified Okay, and then we're gonna get that on. I always have it over my mouth because I've got those wrinkles right there, but I don't know. I don't know. We're just kind of trying to get it all figured out here. It actually goes on really nicely. The yellow one, I'm actually kind of really, it's a mousse mask, which I've never used a mousse mask. So I'm curious on that one, but I figured my face really needed a good deep cleaning because of work. Um, so, 
And I got these at Aldi's, and if I'm not mistaken, I know I did a video on it showing what I got at Aldi's, but if I'm not mistaken, I got them for like $5 and some change. Um, but don't quote me on that. I, I, I don't remember. So, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go back in my memory blank, memory blank. But, yeah, it's just not happening, you guys. Okay, and we're going to close that in a little bit over there. And we're going to close it in over here just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break for just a few minutes. And then I will be back. And while we're finishing up for it to dry or whatever it's supposed to do, because this is the first time I've ever used this kind this mask, um, I will show you guys the makeup that I snagged today. So that way, and there we go. Boom. Okay, I'll be back, you guys, in just a sec. And it is drying, it's still a little, I don't know. It's it's different. Never tried it before, but. Okay. So we went to TJ Maxx today. And I'm on a mad hunt for a palette that I'm looking for. So I'm not gonna say the palette name because I don't really know it but I know what it looks like if that makes any sense I hope it does anyways well I needed a new brush so I got this brush here it's an infinity I pro Conair ultimate root booster vent nylon volume shape lift triangle airflow bristle I don't know. I, I I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But this is what it looks like right here. We'll see how it works. But it was time for me to get a new brush. My brushes disappear. But hey. Okay. <clears throat> when I did my BH um, haul twice. I did not get this because I passed it up because it wasn't on sale, but I got it today at TJ Maxx for $6.99, and it is Take Me Back to Brazil, the Rio edition, you guys. Yes, I am like, oh my gosh, they had it there. And it doesn't have any color names, but I just really thought it looked fun, especially with summer coming. And it's, let's see what it says on here. I'm not going to put my glasses on because it's still kind of nasty. 35 um, color shade palette. So, yes. Hopefully... It is going to do really good. I'm not going to swatch them because that's just so many to swatch. But I'm just like, oh my gosh, they had it. So we will just see what we can do on that. Because after Valentine's Day, I think we're going to maybe do some fun colors or see what we can come up with because also down here where I'm at by Galveston Island in the Houston, Texas area, it is also coming up on Mardi Gras time and rodeo time. So we got both of those coming up. So we'll see what we can do with the rodeo time too. You know, let's see what kind of colors we can come up with. And then the other one I got is also a BH, BH Cosmetics. But they did a collab with Sil Sylvia Ganny, I think is her name. But there it is. And let's 
see 22 colors. And what did we pay for this one? $7.99, you guys. And they didn't even have this one when I was looking. And these colors are absolutely just stunning. I hope you guys can see those fine. And it comes with a mirror on it. But hopefully you guys can see those colors. So I'm... Oh, that's all I can say. And it's just, oh my gosh, I, I don't think I need any more palettes, but I did order another one here just a little bit ago. So we'll, I'll show those to you when we get, oh, when that time comes. But I'm actually really excited to use my new brush. This here I got for $4.99. And it was normally... They say $6, so I'm not real sure about that, but hey, what the heck? It just, it was neat looking. Okay, so on this mask, 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 okay, we got to, we got to get us a clean washcloth, you guys. It don't look clean, but it is, I promise. Okay, so it said apply to a cleansed face, which I washed my face before I got on here. Um, and then, then gently rub in remnants of the mask. Remove with a cotton pad or a washcloth. Um, Okay, the deep cleansing mask. Okay, it's right down here. I don't know which one. I guess that's going to be for the other one. I'm going to have to put my glass. Okay, yes, I see it. Okay, okay, okay. Apply evenly mouth. Then gently rub in remnants of mask and wash off with water. I don't understand what that means as far as rub in remnants because the five to 10 minutes, it dries. So I don't know how I would rub that in. Now that's not, so I don't know. I don't understand that, but okay. We will just kind of let it I think what I'll do is I'll continue to let it dry and I'll be back and then we'll just wash it off with um, with a warm washcloth like we do like I do all my clay masks and um, just do that route on it because I'm just not really sure as far as what they're talking about rub the remnants in because um, a clay mask normally you just dry it and you don't have anything to rub in so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna let it dry and then we will go from there and just treat it like a like the other. I don't I don't understand that. Okay, but I will be right back. I'm gonna let the rest of this in here dry really well and then I'll be back. Okay, okay, you guys, I'm back and it is dry. This patch here looks a little darker, but it is the definitely everything is dry. Um, I noticed the difference on this clay mask compared to other ones that I've used is it's not as tight on my face like some of the other ones that I use. So I'm hoping when I get it washed off that I'm gonna have that same feeling from the ones that are tighter. Um, we'll see. It, we'll just have to wait and see. That's all we can do. And then, whenever I go, if I'm not gonna take a shower to take my my mask off, I will get a, the clean washcloth, and it will be warm water. And instead of rubbing it right away, which I really don't want to do, everybody does it different now. This is one of those that it. Whoa. You guys are my spell. I'm sorry about that. Um, everybody's different on that. I don't know what the deal is, but it's like really super bright. I just pat it. 
until it gets damp and then it is to where I can then I'll be able to gently wipe it off is how we how I do that there we go <laughs> and if you use a white washcloth no matter how much you wash it it will not be white no more so I've had a lot of white washcloths that are yeah they're no longer white so sometimes they look like they're filthy but they're not they're just stained from my masks that I put on so yeah it's probably best if I just stick to colored washcloths you guys is what I'm going to assume on that but But see how dirty and, and it, it's gonna be stained. That that's just whatever. It is what it is on that. So I don't think people really use washcloths that much anymore. I think it's more the loop of body um, sponges and, and and things like that. I don't know. I grew up on washcloths. Okay. Okay. There we go. It is all off. My skin feels okay, but it's not as soft as I'd like it to feel after I do a mask. So, I'm not too sure about that. I don't know. It's okay. As far as me going out and buying it again, no, I wouldn't do that. I would stick with my either 7th Heaven or my um, Freeman masks. I really like those. Those are just really awesome masks. Now, I haven't tried the other two, so I will try those here in a few days or so. I'll try another one, and we'll do a review on that. But as far as... The clay mask for the detoxifying. I'm not the charcoal bamboo one. I'm not real. I, I, it's just something that I wouldn't go out and and hunt and buy again on this particular brand and mask. So, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and come and visit me sometime. If not, I still appreciate you guys stopping by and viewing my video. And just thank you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful, awesome day. And I hope your team won for the Super Bowl. Don't know who won. I haven't watched it. And I missed all the commercials. All the new commercials. I missed them all, you guys. So, yeah, that's kind of... I don't know. I just got busy. So, but I hope your team won, whoever you voted for. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'll, I'll find out in the morning when I'm watching the news of who won the Super Bowl. But until next time, you guys, y'all take care. Have a blessed night. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.